Aziza and her two children were forced to run the night ISIS attacked their home in Kobani, Syria. We went as fast as we could and left everything behind to be destroyed by ISIS. I only thought about our survival and getting to my husband in Kurdistan. The border was closed, so Aziza paid a smuggler to get them into Iraqi Kurdistan. Then they joined her husband, Dahan, who had gone to Erbil to find work. I was so happy to hold them in my arms, to see them safe. But my brother didn't escape. ISIS captured him and cut him into pieces and sent me the pictures on my phone. Now I see that image in my head every day. They quickly found out how hard life is for refugees. The cost of living here is too high, and the company I work for has refused to pay five months of wages they owe me. No one is willing to help us, and I'm especially worried for my wife because we found out she is pregnant. My husband has high blood pressure because of his struggles, and I'm afraid he will have a heart attack. We can barely buy food, but the hardest part as a mother is not being able to get toys for my children. My son's only toy is broken, and it is his dream to have a remote control car, but we can't afford it. The family told me Aziza can't find a job because of the local stigma against Syrian women. So we came up with a plan to open a women's accessory store for her. We took her to the ancient market in Erbil and helped her buy everything she needed. We even found a storefront close to her home and paid three months rent in advance. This was an amazing thing for you to do for us. You have given us hope and brightened our lives. CBN also got blood pressure medicine for Dahan and prenatal vitamins for Aziza. And we're helping them with food while the store gets off the ground. Before we left, we had one final surprise. Brand new toys for the children. I am so grateful to God with all my heart for having met you. Thank you for your desire to help us. We knew what history told us about Islam, that it came with a bloody sword, but we didn't believe it. Now we have seen the reality of that. And we have seen Christianity. We came with support and love.